Hey, 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 good evening everybody. How are you doing? It's another Suarez live stream, yes. We are live. Live, live, live. I wonder what that funny beating thing in my wrist was. <laughs> um, we are doing the very first spin week from the new studio. Let's turn myself off on my television, uh, which has now come on and I can see myself. Excellent. Well, well, well. Hello, one and all. We did a pop-up live stream yesterday. Well done for those of you who saw that or uh, kept an eye on your notifications, were able to view it. Uh, if you didn't, don't panic because you're going to get a full fat version again today. Uh, we are doing some spin paintings. Yes, we've managed to get the table in, leveled, all screwed together and tested. It survived during the arduous move that we've had recently. So thankfully, we are up and running. The tensor barriers are on. The sheet is on to stop it from flaying off all over the place. And I can't wait to get going because I think it's going to be absolutely insane tonight. Uh, we've got potentially... Da, 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 da. Three that we're going to do tonight. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see how we get on. You know how it is. I'm in that crazy kind of spin mood. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing. But right now... Well, I scratch my face and hydrate. I've got to drink plenty. I saw the chiropractor today, and I've got to drink more water. Poorly bunny. We're both poorly bunnies, but my back's not good. So I'm going to try and keep as upright as I can. Uh, if you see me sat on a sofa crossing my legs, tell me, tell me off, all right? Uh, anyway, we're going to run the, the uh, titles, and I'll see you back in 30 seconds. Oh, oh, Adrian, you are a naughty boy. You've just been whispering very naughty things in my ears. <laughs> anyway. Hang on, uh, hang on. Not as in naughty like, you know, naughty, but as in like... Obscene. No, no, it wasn't obscene, really, was it? No, well, no, it wasn't. It was just, uh, you had to be there. It was comical, yeah, but funny, it comical. but made, it made me laugh. It was comical on the dark side. Oh, it was on, it was yeah. on the dark side. On the dark side. Okay, well, you can see what kind of an evening it's going to be already, can't you? Because we've already quoted Star Wars and had a bit of a giggle, and we're not even uh, two minutes into the broadcast. Right, we are going to be doing uh, some shout-outs very, very shortly. You can see on my television set all the comments coming up. Thank you so much for being here. We know all the cameras work, but I do want to just take you for a quick tour on Rome Cam, if you don't mind switching over, buddy. Da -da 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 Bonsoir. Okay, uh, well, upgrades. So one minute on the upgrades. So we've replaced the single width shelf that was there for the double width with the glass on. We've managed to bring some sculpture out, actually. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the sculpture. Haven't done any for a little while, but they're a great project to have. I love them. They're absolutely fantastic. Talking of all things fantastic, hello, Mr. Suarez. What do you have here? Is that an exclusive limited edition Suarez pen? Yes, I rather think it is. We might have to give some of these away, mightn't we, uh, uh, AD? What do you think? Oh, I reckon so, definitely. Mm. Nothing finer than uh, wearing your pinstripe suit with uh, your Suarez pen <laughs> slipped in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Too right. So we've got some pens now. Things are all kicking off. Uh, don't forget, we've got a lovely selection of merch over at SuarezLifestyle.com. So we'll put that up. Look, we put some art up. Uh, this is the Tuma painting. Look, can you see that? Great big bulge. That's about a year and a half that's been trying to dry. Uh, so we put some art up. We'll probably be swapping this over on a regular basis. <clears throat> Just while we're at this end of the building, look what you missed yesterday. Yes, folks, this is second painting in one of the, one of the commissions that I'm doing currently. This is pretty insane, pretty incredible. Absolutely had a blast yesterday. Uh, drying very nicely in here. It is uh, available for you to watch on the channel please to go and have a look when you can uh, painted this yesterday in about an hour absolutely insane it really is we had a, such a such a cool time 
and uh, using one tool. Honestly, this is a one tool technique. Anybody can learn it. You've just got to nip to your local shop and get, get the tool that I've got in the video. And you too can have one like mine. Monochromatic mayhem yesterday. All bells ringing, all guns blazing. That's me on my A game. And boy, oh boy, did we have quite the session. There we go then, folks. So that is also another video you can watch. Let me introduce you to some of the colours on the very first spin painting we're going to be doing. So we've got some dark blue. We've got a very nice purple, metallic... Purple. Metallic... <laughs> purple. Metallic... Purple, purple. Metallic purple. Purple. Um, purple. So we've got a minty pistachio. We've got Suarez blue and a little dash of red. And some white as well. We're going to get that done on that canvas. We're going to whiz it all the way around. If you've never seen the uh, spin table uh, going, then it's quite the spectacle. So we'll get that going in a minute. Let's do some shout outs, shall we? Because that would be really nice to do. Might have to go to the lappy for this. And let's just say some hellos. Because there's lots of people joining us now. And I know you'll really, really like to have your shout outs. Uh, Henry's got through the door of Wednesday. But missed it yesterday. <laughs> were, you, were you here? I don't know if you... No, you weren't here yesterday, were you? Uh, Denise, happy Suarez Wednesday. Hello, Denise. Zane says good day. Carl Miles joined us yesterday. Looking forward to tonight. Christine and Annette, hello to you both. Morton, good day to you. And Eleanor and Alan and Funny Fox has joined us as well. Nancy S, Devanda Studios, John B. Martinez. Uh, uh, Adriana has also joined us. Uh, and Annie Ames says hi. Calypso, Pirate Husband, Brackets, Summer and Spanky. I don't know how many times tonight I can repeat that, but <laughs> I'll call you Summer. Is that all right? Hello to you. Um, and uh, oh, as you see in the comments, said it's just the letter D, Van D, Van D. Oh, D, Van D. I can say to Van D. Okay, D, Van D. Uh, hidden sofa in the studio. I haven't funny vlogs, we haven't got room for it, unfortunately. The reader, hello from upstate New York. And uh, who else have we got through the door? Jeffrey Jenkins from the Oak Park League. Oh, what's I've got a migraine starting, won't be watching for long. We'll have to finish off later. Oh, sorry to hear that, funny fox. We uh, we everybody wishes you well. Uh, we hope you uh, get better soon. I'm a migraine sufferer, so I know exactly what you're going through. And uh, what are your turkey plans? Asks Rita. Nice. I presume that's a Thanksgiving uh, reference. Uh, Henry's loving the purple. Uh, Adriana wants purple. Purple. Purple, apparently. Uh, Karen uh, Garage, hello. And uh, Demetrio gives us a wave. Sandy McGill is also here. Isn't this nice? Lots of you joining on now. Um, and who else have we got? True Teaching UPCI. Hello from Oklahoma. Greetings to Oklahoma. So am I right in thinking it's uh, Thanksgiving tomorrow? Is that is that right for, for our US uh, watchers? I think it's tomorrow, isn't it? 20... What is it 23rd? I think it is. Uh, 48 watching, 17 likes. Smash that thumb, folks. Yes, come on. I haven't even done anything yet, but it's all going to get amazing. So come on. Let's hit that thumbs up button. We're going to have this is spectacular. We've been working all hours to get this ready for you in the new place. This is it. So please do give us some thumbs up. Uh, we've got. Uh, oh, Henry, no ear defenders. You're good, Henry. No, because uh, the. Extractor actually, with it being hidden, um, is quite, I say, a lot quieter than it used to be. So I don't now need the ear defenders, which is helping me a lot. We've actually got, I'll tell you about it in a minute, uh, a brand new extractor going in with digital fan technology. We've had that delivered today. Oh my goodness, I'm going to post that out on socials. It's absolutely bonkers. This thing is incredible and so quiet. So you'll almost be able to, uh, you know, kind of, I don't know, be like a library in here. Uh, soon it will be that quiet and it's very energy efficient so what we're trying to do is uh, be kind to the environment uh, cut down on my electric bill at the same time and hopefully have a space where we can all have a conversation in uh, without me losing my voice uh, so great question uh, thank you for that oh Donna Lehman hello Donna thank you very much uh, yes it is it's uh, D -Bum -D Studios uh, board fruit donkey hello Paula how you doing huzzah uh, it is Wednesday. Well done. Dan Wood. Hey, Dan Wood. Uh, from Seattle in Washington. Uh, amazing. Nice to see you, Dan. Thank you for being here. 
Uh, talking of dams, a uh, friend of mine, uh, Dan Bolt, amazing YouTuber, uh, is uh, currently somewhere in Birmingham on a meeting with other fellow YouTube creators. We got invited to that. The YouTube UK CEO is present there this evening. And we had an invite, which is wonderful. But we decided we were going to paint for you guys instead. So, do we meet with the YouTube CEO of the UK and hang out with a ton of creatives? Or do we do a Wednesday in front of you guys painting? Well, here I am. You won. So, I uh, just thought that was quite an interesting one. Well, the key to it is, which one would be more productive? Um, doing a live stream, to be honest. Really. And here we are, and we've got paint on. We're doing a background layer just to begin with, and then I'm going to be putting some paint on the top, and then we're going to be spinning the backgrounds with the spin paintings. Uh, don't tend to take too long. Everybody loves a spin week, don't they? Uh, we're uh, testing out all the new cameras with all the new camera angles. Here we go, just get this all nicely worked in. go and because i want some of the paint to move uh, that i'm putting on as a base layer i'm actually going to leave you can't really see that oh, i don't know if you can see it or not i'm trying to leave a fair sort of quantity um into the center so if that's going to move when i put the paint on it if that makes any sense there we go we've got ourselves a base layer which is cool uh, liking the colours that you're using. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Paula. That's very good. I'm just using two colours on the base. Okay. I'm going to give it a rotate in just a moment. There you go. Let's just bring it back down for you. Uh, you're right, uh, Divandi Studios. I'm still going to call it Divandi Studios. It's cooler. Uh, assume this layer is to help subsequent layers move. Yes, you are absolutely correct. Um, you're all liking the colour palette, which is really nice. Let's see how we get on with this then, hey? Because as soon as we start introducing these, this is when it really starts to get interesting. Let's see how... Yeah, that's pretty cool. Suarez Blue, we're going to oppose. And we're going to do a half... Oh, I don't know. How do I explain it? A crop, yeah. No, I mean like half the volume of paint. I knew what I was trying to say. I just couldn't find the words for it. And then I'm going to meet this now with the white next to it. That should be nice. And then we want one on the other side, which is where the red's going to go. Now, this is going to be the, the, the interesting one because I don't quite know what's going to happen here. And then we're going to put a little soups on a red on it. And I want to get a more little sliver of black going on as well. Uh, black's just going to give a little bit of definition to it. Let's see if we can spin the first one up pretty quickly, guys, because this is what we've all been waiting for, isn't it? Where's, where's my paint can opener? You know what? It doesn't matter how many I have, I, can, I end up losing them because they become the same colour as the bench. And I'm pretty sure I opened all of my hands with it, and I'm hastily only trying to find it, which of course I can't. Ah, oh, thank you, Paula. Yeah, very spacey and galactic. Well, I hope so. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Who? A Palumary Laker. Hi! Uh, cool. Can't wait for the end results. S me too, Lou Marie. <laughs> me too. Get a dictionary as well, Ed. All right, Henry. You're on. Uh, right. Yes, Demanda, we'd love to see this, the shapes change as well. We're going to put a single black line that way. And we're going to put a single on the other. Because I want to see these cross over each other and actually start mixing. All right. So this is a simple arc shape crossover. And now, for the very first time in the brand new... HQ. If aid is ready, we're going to get this bad boy spun up and see what happens. Are we ready, mate? Shall we do it? Do it! Just do it! Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Nothing is impossible! Spit it out, mate. No, what are you waiting for? <laughs> do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Right, okay. 
gentle, gentle. We've got the thinners on tap. Here we go. <laughs> yes, Henry, I will look for a camouflaged can opener. <laughs> what chance have I got? Right, so I'm looking for the paint to come off the sides. Then we know it's moving. So here we go. It's just starting to come off now. I can feel it moving. Everything good so far. Now then, there's plenty of plate, plate paint flying off. It's giving this a good spin. Tempting now just to throw something on it. So uh, I will need the middle to move. So what I'm going to do now. Just spraying the centre. See if we can encourage it a little bit. Right, it's definitely paint coming off. This is good. Now I've got the level about right. That looks pretty cool on the television. Yeah, I like it. Uh, hello, Mark Newt. Great to see you. Uh, high velocity tech, yes, Henry. Uh, oh, Rita was hoping for spinning. Excellent. Strong start from Carl. Let's go. Oh, I love your enthusiasm, Carl. Right. So while that goes... Oh, I think we've got something quite interesting brewing. Can you see the way this is... Or moulding into into one. That's unusual. Great thing about this is it doesn't matter what kind of paint you apply and when you do it, it's always different. Uh, the key thing is, is I guess having half a dozen interesting techniques or additives or principles that you can use, and then you modify everything around it. And that's about what it is. There's only about six different things I ever do with these, but the uh, the changes are infinite. Should we slow that down? Awesome. Thank you, Jeffrey. Well. Uh, do we know from the container? Oh, thinners, yeah, it's just thinners. Just thinners. Oh, have we got a little bit of Mark Mark Roth go meets Damien Hurst going on here, have we? We're slowing down. At this point, AD is doing a Damien Hurst impression in my ears, and I'm trying to remain professional. <laughs> it's very good, uh, actually. Quite like what those two fellas do in there. Quite smart. Them spin paintings are quite smart. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh my goodness. How about that? Check that bad boy out. I'm rather liking that. What do you think of that? Oh yeah. That's got some meat and potatoes, hasn't it? Let's have ourselves a little look. Let's have a look on our own cam, buddy. Right. Let's fire that up. Right. See. Make sure the camera doesn't fall off. Oh, now look at that, it's moody. Oh, just look at that there. Isn't that nice? Look how it's all just feathered. This is blending. This is nature doing the blending, not me. I'm loving that. And then look right out where this corona kind of goes. The paint is just starting to sell up. Magnificent. What do we think of that, folks? I rather like that. What a lovely and interesting combination. I'm taking that. First one, I'm not doing anything to that. That, my lovely friends, is uh, D for done. Right, okay. What do we think? What do we think? Just actually, before I just take it off, what do you reckon to that? Uh, Folio do. Hello, Folio do. It looks exciting. Oh, yeah. Got a colour field painting. Gorgeous. Yes, yeah, well, <laughs> thank you. Um... Yeah, I think, uh, oh my, that's uh, epic. Oh, thank you, Lou Marie. That's very kind of you. All major credit cards taken. Right, so while Andy does a zoom in, uh, give you a look on that. Let's give, look, I'm going to speak, clear myself some desk space because we're going gonna to get on with number two now. Number two is coming at you. And I'm going to think of what I'm going to do as my base. So let me just grab the cans. And there, and there, black I'm going to keep, white I'm going to keep, I might do a monochrome, because they're always a nice crowd pleaser, we definitely need to get the orange out, uh, we need to get the lime green out, just while Eddie's giving you a look on that, I might get that one out as well, we need the queen's gold, that's going on, in fact I might do an orange and gold and a black and white over the top, oh yeah that could look quite nice, couldn't it, right, Okay, now the, the, the precarious bit is, um, 
Thank you, everybody. Looking success. Uh, Denise says successful. Bridget says done. Caro, beauty painting. Thank you very much. Awesome. Just got on a missed process. Don't worry, Peggy. I'm gonna, there's two more to come. Right, that is done, my lovely friends. Let's get rid of that. Eleanor's given us lots of lovely emojis now. Yes, that is a success. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Our first success. Now, what I didn't mention at the time, folks, is the sizes of these. So what we currently got is me sticking. Let's get some more gloves, shall we? Uh, these are 110 centimetres in uh, size, square. So we'll have a finished size of 90 by 90. So pretty much go on any wall and wanted to make some of these that are a little bit more accessible and i mean that in terms of size but also in price so always got an eye on the commercials of course we have because i've got bills to pay but uh you know we'll price these very competitively uh, in the next week or two when they're going to hit the site and you know what then you won't just make that that treat for yourself you know you've worked hard all year time to treat yourself or get that present that someone's always wanted uh, but uh, there will be six in this spin series on this wave. So uh, bear that in mind, folks. You can always drop me a line when you see them, if you like something. Yeah, Devander, yeah, the red is actually quite thick, and I think that's why it hasn't moved. And that's the reason why I'm not going to put any copper on tonight, uh, <clears throat> because the copper just is not going to move at all. I mean, I, I promise you that right now. Yeah, it's so thick and gloopy. And I don't have the right thinning medium for it. That's the trouble because it requires a slightly different thinners uh, to the one that I've got. So, uh, yeah, I won't be thinning that down. It does have its place. In fact, there's a lot of copper in the great big one that sat over there, the one I did yesterday, uh, which was pretty uh, pretty cool. Loved, loved, loved doing that. Uh, but, yeah, not tonight, Josephine. <laughs> holding your breath were you uh paula that's uh yeah you and me both right okay let's get on with number two this is going well folks so we're going to go in with these uh this kind of whatever tones you want to call it but this should look quite nice let's start with let's start with the orange yeah oh it's still got have i got blue in there where did the blue oh i've just pulled it off the edge let's not worry about that then the more the merrier get this on nice and quick Ooh, lovely. Again, I'm going to be, once I've got it all on, I'm going to be pushing paint to the centre. I want to bring out, don't mind actually if I pull off some of the stuff off the sides. Yeah, might be a drop of blue in there, look, who cares. Yeah, so um, I'm going to be manoeuvring stuff into the centre. Because I want that paint to move outwards. And that's bringing just really a technique to bring the base into the foreground. That's all it is. I'm quite, uh, I'm very, I'm very, um, like, easy going with the paint. I'm too precious about it, but I still don't like wasting it. So it also helps it not fly off the edge, you know. Yeah. I suppose there is that. Anyway, especially with the Queen's Gold. Lightningly expensive. But we don't care. Right. So that metallic is going to look nice. It's going to start interacting with all the other things. Let's pull a little bit out there. A drop of orange, a few spots in the middle. Nice, happy days. Uh, Zane, special source spell spinning. Uh, yeah, I suppose it could do. Thank you, Devanda. Yeah, orange is nice, isn't it? Uh, so it resists movement more to more due to its viscosity. Uh, yes, correct. Correct. Uh, Nancy, love the painting. Thank you very much, Nancy. Uh, for us Americans, 43 inches. Yes, yeah, sorry, yeah, 110, 43 inches. Uh, resist movement, uh, 100 and all of those. Yep, yeah. okay. So the one other thing that uh, does sort of um, make a difference with the paint, of course, is where Ed puts the paint. 
if the paint is in the centre, because the centre itself, because the centrifugal force doesn't move as quickly as the far out. So anything further out then increasingly goes faster and faster outwards. So that's one of the other things about what Ed's thinking about where he puts the paint because the stuff further out towards the outer edge of the table will spin off quicker. Yeah, absolutely right. So here, I'm going to mess things up a little bit. So we've done the single arcs, so we're going to change that now. Where's my cream gone? Where's my cream? Come on, where's the cream head? Is that it? No, silver. I don't want silver. Where's my cream? 9001. There we go. Uh, we're going to get some cream on. Now, controversially, I might pop a little drop of yellow on as well. Hmm, yeah, I know. Yellow. I was thinking of all sorts of bizarre colours now, but yellow could be quite interesting. The black's doing its thing. I'm going to put a little arc of cream there. That's going to go off. I think this is going to get quite interesting. They're all getting quite interesting now. Um, hmm. What colour am I going to stick on there? Hmm. Let's think, think, think. Thank you, Dan. A touch of purple. I was thinking a touch of purple, actually, to be fair. Yeah. Should we do a touch of, touch of purple? It doesn't need a lot, does it? It just needs a little soup, sorry. Purple. A little suggestion. Purple. Yeah, he wants his suggestion. Purple. Purple. Right, so this is a nice metallic. We'll put this one in. <clears throat> um, yeah, the sauce does all kinds of things. Blooming is one of them, yeah. All right, we're doing that look that way. There's a single mass. Now, I did mention yellow, didn't I? Come on, I had to make a decision. Yes, canary yellow. This is, this is a bit controversial, but I'm going to do it anyway. The outside edge moves faster than the centre to cover the same distance. The same amount of time, you got it. Yeah, Devanda, you're right. It's, uh, it's all about the physics of this. And what moves at what speeds and how far. So you'll see differences now in the techniques that I'm using. And watch what happens as this goes now. So there's not going to be a lot transferring into the gold. So if I was going to put something, one thing into the gold, what am I going to do? And I'm going to pull that out. I don't want the viola. I don't want the grey. Oh, I don't know if I should do this. I'd say I'd have a pole, but you know what? We're just going to go for it. There we go. Right. Should we spin this bad boy up? <laughs> Let's do it. Maroon, yeah, I did think about maroon and silver. Yeah, guys, they're all, all great suggestions. Right, spin number two, please. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Right, gently does it. Here we go. Yes, Dan Wood, let's do this. Solid choice. Let's hope so, Paula. Right, difficult to see what's happening, isn't it? Right, I'll turn my back for a second. Oh, it's uh, it's all going to be sticky wicky here. This is going to be the second one. Who knows? So I'll tell you what I'm going to do, folks. I'm going to put a... Do I put a giant wedge through it or not? Yeah, I think I'm going to put a wedge through this and then I'm going to spray it. So, uh, we'll slow it down. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. Because I might give it a bit of a skadoosh and then a spray. Okay, so far so good. So, I'm going to grab my grape spreader here. Okay, right, so... That's all right so far. One there. We're going to do one there. Let's go through the center there. And let's go through that one. Okay, it's fine so far. Yeah, don't worry, Zane. We'll get some special sauce on. 
You know, uh, what I want though, I think, I'm gonna stick put my lime on. Let's, let's get a bit of let's get a bit of drop of lime, shall we? It could look quite interesting. And a little little soups on a black. It is a, it is a little drop, isn't it? Oh come on. It's nearly own time. All right, little spray. We're going to get that up and running, and then we're going to special sauce. Okay, here we go. Spin number two, folks. Spin number two. So, okay, I won't repeat that, Henry, but thank you for the suggestion. The purple I always call eggplant. I think you call it aubergine. I had to look that up. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's see what you mean. Jackie, hello, Jackie Fernandez. I'm asking for dark purple. It's a fairly dark one that's on there. Let's just give that. So something a little. A little different now. Fairy tail FTJ. I all came just in time for purple. Excellent. This one's getting wild. Oh, and it's hitting the side. That's fine. Right, am I back? Just lost my voice there for a moment. Right, okay. I might have to do a bit of uh, running repair. But, we've got special sauce on. Who on earth knows what this is going to look like? Thank you, Richard. Uh, lion meets canary. <laughs> Thank you, Denise. Right, we're stable. Lots to consider, lots to look at, but we're okay. Right, we're stopping. Whew. Right, that was pretty intense. Right, what have we got so far? Well, that is interesting, isn't it? Shall we have a look on Rome Camp? Let's see what we've got, shall we? Mmm, right. You see what a difference the application makes? That is rather intriguing. So that's more uh, about taking things from the centre and pushing them outwards. So that's quite interesting. Um, not quite done. I think it needs one more spin because uh, that, for me, doesn't do very much. So, my mic. Mm, yes, I'm not just checking my microphone. Still under the chin, buddy, yeah. Yeah, so we're still okay. Okay. Right, okay, I've got one more spin left in this, so let's see what I can retrieve, because I don't like that very much. So let's see if I can sort that and make myself like it very much. Right, okay, I might go a bit quiet here, because I've got to consider what I'm doing. Well, definitely going in with the maroon, I think. It's a good suggestion from earlier. Oh, shoot. Good suggestion from earlier. Let's put that on. Let's see what we can do here. So I'm going to oppose these and cross them because it'll be interesting to see what happens then with the, with the paint that's already on here. Okay, so that's fine. And then I'm going to put a dash of orange just back on it because we've lost the orange a little bit bear with me folks <laughs> of course it fell on the other way didn't it oh, okay okay right let's get that spun here we go Needs a bit more black, Franco. Yeah, I know, I was thinking that. Sandy needs a brighter colour. Mm. 
could be that I had that uh, while it's spinning. That would be quite interesting, wouldn't it? Right, so I'm going to flick some specks of black on now. I'll get my spatula out or my spoon, whatever I can find. Let's flick some black on and see what happens, all right? Are we ready? Here we go. Hi, Slow Romo. Ready? Hey. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Always like the eye of Sauron in the middle. More sauce, says Dan. Oh, I don't know. We've got to be careful. Thanksgiving pumpkin pie that someone got hit in the face with. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> oh, dear. And Adriana says, don't forget, uh, don't forget the thumbs up. Let's hit the like button, guys. Let's hit the thumbs up because if you are enjoying this, we want to know. And if you do it, it might just recommend it out to somebody else who's also going to enjoy it. So there we go, folks. Right. Nancy's got to go. Thank you, Nancy. Have a great day. Happy Thanksgiving. Blinging while spinning. That's me all over. When all else fails, bring in the tea. Yes, Paula. Uh, Cloudy Art. Good evening, Mr. Suarez. Well, good evening, Cloudy Art. You are doing well. No, that's... Uh, I want to see this. This could be quite moody now, couldn't it? When do I stop it? Shall we stop it now? Right, let's gradually bring it down. This is going to be a cross between Saur Sauron and Zorro, I think. But that centre, as it begins to slow, looking quite interesting. It's not over until it's over. Oh, come on. When's it going to stop? Oh, it's almost there. This is quite in. Oh, this could be interesting. Hello, hello, you cheeky devil. Oh, no, I think we've managed to rescue this from the brink, folks. There we are. Right then. Well, 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 let's let's have a look at this on Rome Cam. I rather like that. That's looking quite pleasant. Next one, we're going to really ramp it up a little bit. Oh, yes. We have a look at that. There we go, buddy. How's that? So we've resurrected. All right, we've got these lovely autumnal gorgeous tones, but right through the centre of it, we've got a giant smack of colour. The black was definitely a good call, so thank you everybody for mentioning that. Now right, we come into the golden fronds that are shimmering like stars in the sky. That looks absolutely gorgeous. We've got these fantastic horizon points. We've got it all mixing with the special sauce. There you go, Zane Taylor. Look at that. That's what's causing that. It's tempting to give it another spray, but you know what? We'll let that develop for a little while. So back from the brink, folks. I rather like that. That's a real shot in the arm. That'll do for me. So let's get number two off the table. And let's go completely nuts. <laughs> number three, shall we? Okay, let's get him off. Let's see where we're at. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take it from this side, I think. Because I don't mind the paint going that way, I just don't want it to go that way. And we'll get the third one on. Looking good so far. Right, are we ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, we're off. We're off. It's good. Okay, and we're down. Oh, <laughs> yes. We are down. That looks rather pleasant. I like that. So, Aidy's going to give you a quick look. Hopefully. There you go. Nope. Camera's in the way. Which which camera's in the way, mate? Ah, the, the actual camera's in the way. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. That's going to dry. That's quite an interesting thing. I've not done anything like that before. So quite, uh, quite moody, that one. I like it. Right, let's get some more gloves on. Uh, I hit the like button and also ordered two pints of your throw... Two of your throw pillows and a handbag today. For the shipment to the colonies. Ah, that was you, was it? Thank you so much. I saw that pop up on my phone. Well, that's very... I won't shake your name out, but thank you very much for that. That's very kind of you. We'll make sure that uh, gets done very, very quickly for you. 
Denise says beautiful. Thank you very much. Annie says very cool. Excellent. Right. Are we ready for the third one then, folks? Should we have a little fun, little bit of fun with this? Right. Now, do we go tropical? Do we go monochrome? No, it's all right, buddy. I'll keep it as it is. It's fine. Right. Okay. Do we, what are we going to do then? Are we going to go tropical? Let me just uh, gather myself together on here because there are definitely some colours I'm not going to be using again. Uh, I might just do some running repairs to the sheeting around the outside. But if you've got a suggestion now, folks, this would be the time to tell me. And I'll bear in mind what you're, uh, you're going to say next, because I do have an idea as to what to do. I'm feeling quite uh, sort of almost rainbowish in some respects. It could be quite interesting. Or do we go something like, a, you know, like a... a, a, a a pink and a lime, that could be good. Pink, lime and black. I mean, they're always a crowd pleaser, aren't they? Let me get that out, because that's where I'm heading. So this is good so far. We've got tropical and monochrome. Definitely uh, it's in the spot with you guys. Well, that's good. That's good. Ah, see, can I throw, can I, what was that, throw, get a balloon and fill it with paint. Yeah, and it just, they look stupid. We've done it before, the paint just, just goes, yeah, so what? The paint just doesn't care, unfortunately. So yeah, we have, we've even shot at balloons with an air rifle before and let that go off at various heights many, many years ago. And um, that was the wrong side of disastrous. So yeah, great suggestion, but uh, sadly, doesn't tend to work too well for us. Never mind, such is the way. Right, so we're getting all kinds of suggestions here, aren't we? Ocean blue, green, uh, neon rainbow, monochrome with a touch of gold from Ali and Su Alan, sunshine hot. Oh my goodness me, where do I, where do I go? Whilst we're working on it, don't forget if you are new here, and it's good to see some new faces, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, we'd love to keep you uh, on the channel and certainly updated with all the cool things that are happening here at Suarez HQ. We pop up in the um, most unopportune moments and do live streams and all kinds of things like that, but obviously subscribe and you get notified as long as you click on your bell icon as to when all the cool stuff is happening. And it's also nice to welcome our patrons here. We've got lots of them watching this evening. And our patrons do get early access to all kinds of stuff way before anybody else does. I think we're up to about 130 different posts and videos on there now. All the stuff that nobody else gets to see. And if you would like to see that before anybody else, for a very for the price of a coffee, you can get access to all the cool stuff. So go check us out on patreon.com forward slash Suarez Art. You can find that also from the bottom of the web pages on any page on the website. 700 pages for you to look at now with all kinds of archive stuff and amazing material and blog posts the uh, site is quite a work of art in itself something i'm very very pleased about i've built up over the last 10 years you can quite easily go and waste an hour of your day on your lunch break by um, going and have a look at that as well and of course our patrons also get a very, a very exclusive patreon tile we've still got some of them left if you want to know what that's about you can see that on the header on the screen. And uh, if you want to find out how you can qualify for one of those, there's uh, only 112 in existence. And uh, head over to patreon.com. Fantastic. How about an off-center spin from Annie Ian as well? You guys have got some absolutely brilliant suggestions. Um, it's difficult <laughs> to, to put... I could just go for a very, very... A very elegant monochrome, and that's, I've got to be honest, that's the way I'm heading. Sorry to disappoint all, all you colour freaks out there. Um, but oh, there is something... Purple monochrome. Purple monochrome. No, not a purple monochrome. Purple. No, behave purple yourself. Monochrome. Monochrome <laughs> yeah. with purple. Okay. Purple okay. and purple? <laughs> purple. Purple and purple. Uh, uh, oh, gaga guli ale alia. But buongiorno, buonsera a tutti. Oh, good evening to you as well. Uh, I think that's uh, Italian for good evening. Right, while we're deciding, let's get some white on. I'm going to put some cream on as well. 
And let's get a light background done because we can always go on to that. We can always change it. No big deal. Let's get that maneuvered around. Good morning and good evening, everyone. Thank you. I knew my translation was a bit off. Okay. Right, let's move that around. Now, this is one I definitely want, don't want to get paint from the uh, sides mixed up with, so we're going to go very gently. Now, as we've seen from the last spin painting, sometimes less is definitely more. This is all about enjoying the beauty of the paint and throwing it around a bit, letting nature do the work. But of course, you have to do a little bit of the work beforehand. So, in with a very gentle two colour base, just maneuvering that around. And then I've got to decide, haven't I, what we, what we do with it. But we're going well so far, though, look. With three, three so far in the broadcast. I'm pretty happy with that. I think we're enjoying them so far. First one was an absolute try. It's always the first one that works so well. I don't know why. I haven't used a spin table this one for oh, goodness me, a long, long time since we've had the studio move. So it's nice to kind of get back into the technique. I didn't know if I'd remember or pick things up as quickly, but uh, yeah, so far. I mean, I could carry on and do this all night long, I could. <laughs> Bad news for you guys, you've got no rest, look. Ah, uh, Nelson, hello Nelson, hola. Let's get some of this manoeuvred into the centre a little bit. We get plenty to mix. So Zane's after guavo and mango. Guava and mango, did I say that right? Guava, a man a manga, mango, is it? Mm. That could be quite an interesting one. I don't know if I've got enough to do that, though. With Right, there's our base. Jane, are you hungry for some fruit? <laughs> guava and mango. Oh, it's making me hungry. <laughs> yeah, like fresh fruit salad, yeah? Henry, white, black, cream, yellow, silver. Oh, it's a tr tricky one, this. Everybody wants kind of something a little bit different. Uh... <coughs> right. 30 seconds to think. Come on, Ed, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Okay. Right, I've had, I've had an idea. Well, let's see if we can hit everybody's brief. Let's see if we can do something. Oh, I found my paint can opener. Hurrah! Wow, spinning table has a nice frame, yeah. Sorry, I was just uh, reading the comment. No, no. Uh, monochrome with a touch of red. Oh my goodness me, everybody. I can't, I can't do what everybody wants. I literally will be here until about four in the morning. I would do if I could. Honestly, I would. Right. It's a couple more colours I want, and then I'm going to show you what I'm actually going to do with it, because it's going to be a little bit different. Where's my orange gone? You know, I haven't thrown it away. Come on. Yeah, do I see orange? Right, we've had the Damien Hurst spot paintings. Now we're going to have the Suarez spot paintings spun. That's what we're going to do. Right, there's some decent ones. We need the red in there as well. And I'll probably take a blue. And let's see what happens with that. Uh, thank you, Paula. Yeah, it is great to be painting again. You, you know, I had wondered if I would ever get to the point where I was ever going to do this again because it, it just feels like it's... it's it's just forever. 
Not like we've been doing this forever, and it's, it just gets really tedious. Uh, I thought we, it, the, the end would never be in sight, but you know we uh, we are pretty much there now. There's a lot of figuring out to be done, and there's a lot of stuff still to be moved, set up, tested, figured out. But we are definitely making progress. And that's the important thing here, isn't it? We can't stand still. Uh, had a comment on one of the, well, the video from yesterday. I mean, you guys never stand still for a minute, do you? And I guess that's the thing, isn't it? Just depends how driven you are. You know, our livelihoods depend on it. We're not, we're not rich people. We have to sell paintings. That, that is it. It's, this is a commercial thing. If we could afford just to do it just for the hell of it, would it be different? I don't know. Without budgets, maybe it would. But in all the fun and in all the pomp and circumstance of the razzmatazz, there is a very serious side to this. Um, even though we try to mask that, and especially on a Wednesday, we just want to have fun. That was very tense then because there's a little drop of skin waiting to come out. Three colours left. Now, does anybody know what's going to happen to this when it spins? There is no thinners on it. We've got one thing, one spot of everything at the moment. Now, do I go round the outside with something? Who knows? Let's go in with Dan's suggestion of the lime. Uh, thanks, Zane. Are we both enjoying the new space? Um, tricky one to answer. It, it is very much a question of yes and no. Uh, we miss having the space of the old place, certainly. Uh, there was a lot of space that we had before, and we just simply don't have that now. On the plus side, we're on one level. We've got roller shutter doors. Maneuvering and fetching and carrying uh, and having everything close to each other is a definite bonus. I'll give you that. Uh, but it is, it's just tricky. I think it's tricky because we're trying to work out what the spaces should be used for, where things need to go, uh, logistics, how do things work, where are we are our most efficient. And they're the questions we haven't answered yet. And I guess it's just going to need some time, really, just to let everything settle down. Uh, we can settle in, uh, find a rhythm. But at the moment, we're still just working things out. Um, and it just takes time. We've just got to be patient with it. But I'm just very glad that we are at a point where we've got most of the physical moving actually done at long last. And we can do stuff like this. We can actually start creating with a backlog of very, very patient clients <laughs> waiting for their paintings. So we are getting through that slowly and surely. And you can keep an eye out on our social media channels where we'll update you when we've installed something for a client. You can go and have a look at it. Uh, on the back wall, you can see all of the social media channels. Go and give us a follow when you can. We're on just about everything. And talking about just about everything, we've got just about every colour on there. So I've no idea really what's going to happen. I'm not going to spray this, I don't think. Uh, not at the moment. But if you're curious, um, can we give this a bit of a spin? Let's just put some dots on and see what happens. Uh, Cheryl, I'm a gardening artist. Hello, what a beautiful com uh, colour combination. Thank you, Cheryl. Uh, that is very nice of you to say so, and welcome. Thank you for joining us on the chat. Uh, yeah, Rita, <laughs> yeah, Rita, Aidy's going to come on the line and answer that one. Hi, Rita. Yeah, no leaking ceilings at the moment, but I have been told that in this place that we're at, because it's a tin roof, that when it goes really cold, and I mean onto the frost side of things, we're going to get condensation leaking off the ceiling. That hasn't happened yet, but that's what we're told is going to happen. So we shall see. Yeah, so good question, Zane, and I appreciate you asking that because uh, yeah, it is important that we can maintain what we're doing here. Anyway, uh, shall we have a spin there, buddy? What do you reckon? Do it! Just do it! Yesterday, you said tomorrow, so just... Do 
Okay, this is going to be interesting. Got to keep my got to keep my eyes open and see what's happening. I've got no idea where this is going to go, but I guess there's only one way to find out. The return. No. Yeah, we've got some movement in the centre. I'm not going to be afraid to douse this with thinners. Right, so is it starting to get bigger? That's what she said. Let's have a look. Right, gently teasing the speed of the table. Oh, come on, do something. <laughs> <laughs> come on, do something. <laughs> I've got a plane to catch. Uh, hopefully, you'll be warmer in the winter months and cooler in the summer. Well, I do very much hope so, Paul. Right, well, so far, it's uh, pretty stepping stones. Let's give this a... We're not quite at full speed yet. Right, we're going a little bit faster now. What's happening? Remember, this is unthinned paint at the moment. The title from Henry, The Leaky Ceiling. <laughs> okay. Three steps to heaven. Right, I'm, I'm gently increasing the speed. We've got some nice rose petals at the moment, look. Now, okay, do I give this a bit of a, a skadoosh or not? Oh, so difficult, so difficult. Hmm, right, let me have a walk over here. What does Denise say? Maybe. It will snow in the studio on the spin table and special sauce. Uh, could be positive, a positive to it. Yeah, true. I could special source this, actually, but I'm not sure. Shall we just have a little look, see what's happening here? What I might do is special, short, special source the out, just the outer, not the inner. Let's let's wind this down. Let's see what we got. Oh, now that's quite interesting. That could be a logo for something, couldn't it? A Commonwealth Games or something. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at that. Well, it's, we've oh, definitely got some movement, haven't we? Somebody's album. Oh yeah. yeah. Album cover there. Album cover. Like it. I actually quite like that. Why do I like that? I'm quite sort of, uh, yeah, I think that's quite pleasant. Uh, right, so I guess the question is, what do I do with the white in the middle? Now, do I do a, oh, this is a, this is an interesting one, isn't it? I've got to try and think now, what, what does it look? What is it going to do? Flower shop logo, yeah, thank you. One of our drugs stick on the floor, not sure if he likes spinning, <laughs> sorry to hear that fairy tale. Okay, what do we think, what do we think? Um, right, I think we need the tiniest amount of thinners, but I've just got to figure out where that's going to be. This is a very tricky, it's sort of like flowers, isn't it? It's offset to this side, which is a bit worrying, so I've got to move that side. Um, maybe we need some smaller dots around the outside, so let's, let's, Let's reapply. Oh, is that what reads? Sorry, yeah. yeah, yeah, we're thinking the same things here. So let's repeat that process and see if we can build that up. I'm worried, a little worried about that white, but uh, I shouldn't be really, should I? But let's uh, let's just see how we go because this could be epic, or it could be terrible. Could be peaches, could be tuna. Who knows? Yeah, Mark, I was tempted to leave it, but uh, you know what? I never can leave these things alone, can I? The question is, is that, that bit of white in the middle, do I do anything with that? Hmm. I think I might have to. Or do I leave the colours separated? I mean, that's the other option, isn't it? I can put colour onto colour now. But let's keep them as they are. I think that's working pretty well. Trying to oppose everything at the moment. I have to be very careful. Uh, I'm not sure of colourful strings, Henry, but uh, some, I'll think about that. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. Okay, but this is good. This is good. Let's let's keep the colour thing going because actually it's a nice big celebrationary thing at the moment, I'm trying to make everything opposing rather than feature the same colours in the same place, hopefully. 
Oh, you like the white in the middle, Rita. Fair enough. Well, I'm not quite sure about that, but we'll see. Uh, I'm definitely going to need a volume of paint down where the lime is. Uh, but that's fine. We can feature a lime here, just not too much. Okay. So far, so good. Because, of course, everything else is going to continue to move as well. We're not just isolating this. So this is definitely here, yeah. This is definitely where I need to do something. That's got to move out because I need to balance it more this way. Uh, <clears throat> we've got lime. No, we've got just this yellow left, haven't we? So where do I need to put that? It'll drop there. Okay, where have I missed? Just something kind of up here now, haven't I? Uh, right, so it will drop a black. And have I got everything on? I just want one thing there, don't I? I need one, one little, tiny little thing there. Just a little dub of blue then. And kind of cute with my quantities here. Right, okay. I can dig in this. Something I've never done before. Let's get that spun, see where it goes. I don't know if it looks terrible. <laughs> Let's have it with some thinners and see what happens. Okay, here's our flower shop logo spinning up again. Do you know what, Adriana? I did wonder about the gold. Yeah, I think uh, if we were to spin again, gold's going in the center. I think that would look absolutely gorgeous. So I'm totally with you on that. Exactly what I was thinking. In the red and black, uh, possibly, yeah. All right, here we go. Let's ramp this up. Yeah, it's definitely opening. That white is definitely opening, isn't it? I'm just listening to the spin machine. Right, here we go. This is it. Go, Flower Shop logo. <laughs> I love it. Can't take it too seriously, can you? <laughs> Flower Shop logo. What are you lot like, eh? You're terrible to me. Right, well, we're definitely getting things moving towards the edges, aren't we? That's really good. Quite happy with that. Let's slow him down. Let's get that gold in the center because I, I do agree with you, Adriana. That's what it needs. Oh, we're definitely... Now, this is going somewhere. A little bit of patience. Oh, hello. I think I'm liking this already. Let's get that stopped. Now, isn't that... Now we're filling the canvas up, folks. Oh, I rather like that. That's rather pleasant. Yeah, okay, so I need to get some gold strings in there, don't I? Right, let's get my gold out then. I think that's, uh, that's, that's got to be done. That's a winner. But it's got to be careful where I put it. <clears throat> so, question. Do I drop a few golds into the big ones? Got to be, got to be tiny, haven't they? Yeah, I'm going to do a shot glass, actually, mate. Hope you're all enjoying this. Mm, tense, isn't it? <laughs> <clears throat> Let's get... I'm just going to get a small... I think it... Yeah, do I accent that way or do I go that way? Yeah. Let's, yeah, okay, let's do that then. Maybe you're suggesting maybe three or four little drops. Then they can independently do what they want then, can't they? I think that's a good idea, actually. Yeah, I'm digging that. And then maybe if we just drop a couple on on here. Let's uh let's go one there. Let's go one there. Just do on the larger ones. Keep the gold theme going. Still gonna mix with the white because the white's quite fluid, even though with every spin we are putting more airflow over the top. Consequently, we're changing the behavioural characteristics. It can start to thicken up. We've only got so many spins available. Well, it all goes... It all stops, basically. 
We're going to have some long streaks of gold going in here, so this is going to look like petal, pe petal stems. It's easy for you to say it. And there we go. Okay. Last spin. I don't think it's going to survive another one. Let's go, go. Flower shop logo. Hashtag number three. Let's get that spun up. Right, okay, I'm happy with that. Right, okay, oh, so it was quite controversial, that. Um, so, Rita, not the center. Uh, don't get the gold, touch any other color. So uh, you are not the best. You are the pinnacle. Of oh, well, that's very kind, Richard. Thank you. I thought you were going to say that I sucked or something like that. <laughs> Lady Art turned the speed up. Yeah, it's got to be done, hasn't it? I mean, I know what's what's going to happen. It's all just going to delineate now. So I probably had something of a masterpiece and now it's all just disappeared. But uh, we've got to learn, haven't we? This is all that, that process of of learning. It is it is what we're all about. We are we're cutting edge. We're at the experimental edge of everything. Uh, where would we go if uh, if we weren't able to experiment? That's making my head hurt, so I'm just thinking now. Okay. Cult of Gaming's just joined. Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, well, that's interesting. <laughs> okay okay now that's interesting i rather like that they have they're almost straight lines isn't that interesting that is very unusual i quite i wish i'd have put more in the center now and make them gone uh but actually that's pretty good let's get a roam cam look on that the only thing that bothers me is this, is this. I've got nothing here. Come on, Rita. I've got nothing sort of here. I need a... Ah, you know, is it going to survive another spin? Right, let's go Rome cam. Let's have a look. Look at this one. That's quite interesting. Maybe that has to become a spin painting on its own then. I know a couple of you suggested we do blues. I'll do blue, green and gold. That would be a pretty cool one, but you know... Wanted to have some fun tonight. It's only week one with spin week. We might do the same next week. Who knows? We might do this all over again with a completely different set of colours. But I think that's just a very happy kind of thing. You know, it doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to raise the Titanic or cure cancer, does it? It just has to be something you enjoy looking at. It almost looks like, uh, like a clock face to me. Like a... Yeah. So I'm just wondering now, guys, and I know this is really controversial. Should I do a quick, fast spin and just put a few more of those golds in? I guess that's the question. Gold or no gold, or is it done? I mean, I like it, don't get me wrong. That's a, that's a happy thing. Do I just add a little tad more gold? Oh, goodness me, I'm right at that crossroads. What am I supposed to do? Yikes. Ah, oh, or is it done? Is it done, or is it not done? Is it done, or is it not done? And if it's not done, what am I going to do to it? Oh. Three silver dots in the centre, do you think? So, what do we think? What do we think, guys? I'm going to get the silver on standby because I do like that suggestion. Although, it isn't that liquid, so I don't know how it's going to sort of fare. Uh, and I've got a lot of gold left in the pot. How about I do a little hybrid of the two? Pour some silver into the top of my gold pot. Um, could it be? I mean, could it actually work? I don't know. What do we think? Three spots of silver. Controversial. I'm going to get some in anyway. And let's see what happens. And Denise loves it. So the question is, do I leave it or do I add to it? You tell me, folks. 
Mm. I've got bronze, Rita, it's too thick. And I wouldn't be able to thin it down because it doesn't use these thinners. Well, I like the idea of some silver. That would offset it because we've got no silver in there. But it's a nice, thick, gloopy metallic. So what I'm thinking of doing is go one, two, like three. So maybe one, two, three, just here. So I'm going to go one there. I'm decision made. One. Two. Oh, looks like that's where three. That's where three's going. Oh, darn it. Okay, it's all right. Right, there's our three in the centre. Last spin. It definitely isn't going to take a fourth. <laughs> yeah, good one there, Franco. Yeah, but um, it, it has got to go around its frame. So uh, we're not going to lose two. We're going to lose 10 centimetres around the outside. Right. I mean, it's tempting actually just to leave those three dots as they are without them spinning because I quite like that as well. <laughs> I just like the three dots as they are. Oh, but that wouldn't be Suarez, would it? Let's do it. Here we go, folks. Last spin of the night. You've all done super well so far. Let's see if we can top this off with something that's really just going to finish the evening off a treat. So keep your eyes on those three silvers if you can. Try not to be sick in the process. Here they go. Here they jolly well go. Except for the one right in the middle, which is basically staying as a dot. Which I rather like that. If that stayed as a dot, I will be super, super happy. I think it might actually stay as just a dot. Wouldn't that be amazing? Because I quite liked that. Oh, come on. Be, be kind to me. Slowing. all gone quiet right hasn't gone very far has it but that's all right i don't mind that you know what i quite like that right what do we think of that then let's have a look from over here i quite like that let's just fill that center up a little bit you might probably all disagree with me now and think it needs spinning again, but I quite like that. I must admit. Yeah, it's very unusual. Yeah, because the silver's a much thicker consistency, and I knew that that wouldn't go as far. Uh, Henry's hypnotised. Uh, <laughs> he wants to be a dot. It's done unless you get the spreaders out. But that's for another live stream. I agree, Denise. Uh, Annie's feeling very sleepy. Dan says, great. I rather like that. I rather like that. I'm, I'm saying that's enough. Because I think if I do any more to that, I'm going to start losing some of the other bits and pieces. There's my, my happy uh, garden uh, flower shop logo. That's a semi-abstract clock face. Oh my goodness, you could you could just take anything from that, couldn't you? <laughs> but what we have done is we've got three paintings. I'm going to show you all of them now. Uh, this one I'm going to get off the table in just a moment. But for now, uh, let's give you a look on Rome Cam. Let's get these gloves off. Okay. Right, we came in, folks. Look what we did early doors, but look what's happening to this. Isn't that absolutely majestic? That is floating my boat. I could do that all day long. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? These paints really are quite the most extraordinary thing. Just like peacock feathers. No chemicals used straight from the tin that is absolutely exceptional i might even have that for myself at home i am completely digging that what do you reckon to that tell me your thoughts then we moved on to one that we almost lost it almost came out as a disaster we special sourced it we put all the autumnal colors on and thought oh my goodness it's gone into the realms of the bin but no actually we saved it at the last minute let's give ourselves a little look at that as I rescue the side. Side's a bit sticky. Oop. Yeah, nice. Let's have a look at the selling. Ooh. 
That's quite interesting. Look, interesting things happening on there. And that's what special sauce does. Don't ask me how it works. I just spray it on. Pretty really gorgeous, that. And then we've just finished with the flower shop logo stroke abstract timepiece. And you know what? I've never done anything like that before. But that's just a few dots of paint. That's a happy little thing. That's going to cheer you up in the morning. It's an inter Suarez. <laughs> Start my own business. Oh, I have. Uh, and there we go. That is spin week number one, folks. Completed. I hope you've enjoyed that. Three very different works of art. Three slightly differing techniques, including one I've never done before. I hope you've enjoyed that, because that's what it's all about, isn't it? Win, lose or draw, you've got to enjoy it. And I most certainly have, and I hope you have too. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Let's uh, <laughs> have a final look at your comments. Um, love first and second paintings, Henry. Second one turned out quite nice. Thank you. Uh, number two, autumnal. Number one is great. I must admit, I love number one. I'm completely, completely taken with number one. Uh, well, Rita likes the one, two and three. Well, that can't be bad, can it? Oh, wonderful. Now, if you are watching this on catch up, uh, please do let us know down in the comments what your favourite one is. Uh, everybody's been joining on the chat live, which is amazing and fantastic. So thank you all for doing that. Uh, lots of love coming through. So that's really, really kind of you guys. Thank you so much for that, because this is a lot of work to do every week. It really is on top of everything else. But we do hope you've enjoyed tonight's broadcast. We've enjoyed having you here. And don't forget, if you haven't given a thumbs up, hit that thumbs up button for us. That would be amazing. Thank you so much. We're going to be here uh, same time next week, so please do join us for that. And we were also doing this yesterday. Now, if you're watching this on catch up, that means the uh, the thumbnail just behind this one, uh, where we did a giant, giant black and white monochrome and copper one, which is absolutely extraordinary. So do, do go and watch that and find out how I painted that with just one single tool in under an hour. Anyway, that's it for tonight, folks. Big thank you to AD out in control. Thank you to all of you who have joined us and watched from the beginning. And if you've joined in the conversation, also a massive thank you for all of your suggestions as well. Great to see lots of new faces here joining the stream. Welcome to the world of Suarez. Great to have you here. We look forward to seeing you next week at the same time, 7.30 p.m. GMT. Look out for the updates on socials. But from AD and myself, we're done for one evening. Have a very good evening wherever you are in the world. Stay safe well. I'm healthy and we'll see you next week. That's it for now. Cheerio and bye-bye.